In the darkest corners of our planet, some incredible animals have never seen the light of day. These animals have been discovered only because humans were curious and decided to invade their personal space. In this video, we look at the most bizarre animals you've never heard of before Pink Fairy Armadillo. The smallest of all armadillos and only found on the grasslands and sand plains of Argentina, Pink Fairy Armadillos are unbearably cute. Measuring less than 11 centimeters long with a pink shell and white silky fur, their pocket size makes them sought after pets. Sadly, their natural habitat is being lost to agriculture and cattle ranching. Organizations such as Xenarthrans are doing everything in their power to ensure the species' survival, melting fish. In 2018, a scientific expedition plunged 7.5 kilometers into the Atacama Trench. Located off the coast of Peru, it is one of the deepest places in the sea. Footage captured three new species of snailfish. Despite the depth, there were plenty of invertebrates, and the snailfish appeared to be the top, well-fed predator of the bunch. This was quite remarkable, considering that the pressure down there would destroy a human. That is also what happened in reverse, when scientists tried to bring the fish to the surface. As it turned out, what people perceive as normal surface pressure was deadly to the creatures. To survive the depths, the snailfish evolved a squishy body with almost no structural pieces. The most substantial parts were their teeth and inner ear bones. This soft fragility made the snailfish remarkably tough, but only at a depth where they were kept together by the high pressures. When a few were caught and brought to the surface, they disintegrated so rapidly that it looked like they melted. Streaked Tenrec. Despite being covered in spikes, the streaked Tenrec is not a hedgehog. Sure, it rolls up into a ball when it is threatened, and it will shoot quills into the mouth of any predator silly enough to try and eat it, but it's more closely related to otters and moles. Tenrecs are native to Madagascar, and you'll find streaked tenrecs scratching around on the floors of the rainforests in Ranumafana, looking for worms and other insects to feast upon. Largely nocturnal, stumbling across a streaked tenrec is sure to frighten you. Irrawaddy dolphin. This is one you likely won't have heard of the adorably funny-faced Irrawaddy dolphin, found in coastal areas and rivers in South and Southeast Asia, with their beady eyes and happy round faces. These curious cetaceans almost look like a bad children's drawing of a dolphin. Unfortunately, however, there are very few of these smiling dolphins left, with as little as 92 individuals estimated to still exist. The primary threat is accidental entanglement and downing in fishing nets, which they are more susceptible to than dolphins that live further out into the ocean. Naked Mole Rat This next animal is a standout both in terms of looks and lifestyle and pretty much everything else. Naked mole rats are pink, nearly bald, extraordinarily long-lived rodents that live in subterranean burrows and have a social system most similar to that of bees. What about all that isn't weird and wonderful? Like many bees, ants, termites and wasps, naked mole rats are eusocial. This means that they live in large colonies where only one female, the queen, and a select few males are allowed to breed and the rest of the colony spend their whole lives as workers and soldiers, creating tunnels and protecting the colony from predators. They are the only mammal that lives in this way. Saiga antelope. This species surely wins the prize for the weirdest looking antelope out there, perhaps closely followed by the Geranuk. Its strange bulbous nose actually has a very serious and important function, however. Living in the semi-desert grasslands of Central Asia, in Mongolia and Kazakhstan, saigars must endure very harsh conditions. Not only do they have to contend with hot summers and freezing winters, but they also deal with clouds of dust kicked up by the herd during their mammoth migrations. Their big drooping noses will warm up frigid air before it enters their lungs, as well as filter out dust, helping them to survive in an unforgiving landscape. Potu. When it comes to birds, there is a particularly rich crop of weirdos to choose from. However, one of the weirdest birds is the potu. This group of birds, closely related to nightjars and frogmouths, can be found in the forests of Central and South America. They are nocturnal, hunting flying insects from a perch at night and spending their days blending into tree stumps with their remarkably convincing camouflage. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you can see our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.